All right, uh, we're going to solve a, what is this, a quadratic in secant. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could just, you know, replace all these secants with little u's just to make it a little friendlier looking. So 3u squared minus 5u minus 2 equals 0. All right. And now we're going to see if we can factor this. Won't be too bad. Uh, it's got to be a 3u and a u in order to give us 3u squared. And in order to multiply to give us 2 right here, it can either be a 1 and a 2 or a 2 and a 1. Uh, it's going to be a 2 here and a 1 there. And I know that because this will give me 6. And this will give me 1. And I can get a 5 out of that. All right, I need to be a negative five in the middle, so I want my I want my six right here. I want this one to be negative and this one to be positive. Nice. All right, so now I'm going to take each of these factors and I'm going to set them equal to zero and solve. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my secant back where it should be too. So I'm going to I'm going to have three secant uh, plus one equals zero. I'll try to solve that. And then I'm also going to have, uh, what was it, secant minus 2 equals 0. I need to solve both of these equations. All right, so before I, sw before I swap over to uh, cosine, I'm going to go ahead and isolate my, uh, oh gosh, isolate my trig part. So 3 secant is equal to negative 1. I'll divide by 3. And I'm going to get secant is equal to negative one-third. Nice. Uh, for this one, I'll plus two on both sides. I get secant is equal to positive two. All right. Now I'm going to replace my secants with cosines. So instead of saying secant is equal to negative one-third, I'm going to say cosine is equal to negative Three. All right, well, I, I'll flip them over, reciprocate that. Here I'm going to say cosine is equal to positive one half. Now, this one, that one's impossible. All right, uh, the graph of cosine, if you remember, the graph of cosine looks like this right here. This goes over and over and over. The highest it ever gets to is a one, the lowest it ever gets to is a negative one. So it never actually reaches a negative 3. So this one, not going to happen. All right, so I guess you could put no soul for that part. Uh, this one's not too bad. Cosine is equal to positive 1 half. All right. For cosine to give me positive 1 half, uh, it's going to be in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4. Yeah, That's going to happen right there and right there where my x value is equal to a half. Uh, looks like 60 degrees right here. Oh, and what is negative 60 degrees? Uh, 300, yeah. Right. So 60 degrees uh, and 300 degrees. Those would be my two solutions. Uh, if we were answering in radians, we'd say pi over 6 and... 5 pi over 6. No, 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 no. Make these 6s a 3. Gosh, that was embarrassing. I'm sorry, guys. Pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Whew. That's better.